Welcome back, family, to Bathing at the Dark, where our topic today is why men and women cheat. Our first guest is a comedian you've seen on Reno 9-11, and of course, on our host of our own show called Clean House. Please welcome Nisi Nash to the show. Right, our next guest needs no introduction. He's a regular on my radio show. My man, Dr. Baruch, is here, family. Give it up, Doc. Give it up. Give it up. Our next guest is an actress you've seen on Dream Girls, and you can see her in a new movie coming up called This Christmas. Say hello to the very lovely Sharon Lil. How you doing? <laughs> and last but not least, my man George Hot Pants Wilborn. <laughs> you know, when we saw that clip, everybody sitting was going, yeah, that was, that was tight work. The movie, like, is going to be great. I think so. It's going to be a good one. Great cast. Tell me about that scene and how you feel about it personally. Right. Well, you know, that character is definitely a little more brazen, a little more outspoken than I am. I'm a little more reserved and not so, you know, quick to judge people. But um, that, you know, that character Regina King plays a woman who definitely knows her man is a... Uh, has got something on the side and is putting up with it because she doesn't feel like she has, you know, more to offer. And uh, so that was her kind of reading her the, you know. Sherry, you know, I've been talking about this for a long time. The very first book that I wrote was Why Men Cheat. Mm -hmm. And that, I went around the country, Dr. Baruch, and everybody wanted to discuss this to the point of overflowing venues at hotels. Sure. Why do you think this topic is so popular? Always has and always will be. Well, because the United States has created a culture of individualism. We're all out to get ours. So we're, even though we're in a relationship, we're still in search of something better, something different. We're listening to the locker room talk, the water cooler talk, and we're hearing about other people doing things. And we say, hey, why not me? Let me go get mine, too. So I got something to talk about. So I got another experience. I got another notch on the board. Unnecessary, I think. Can we be honest about something, Doc? What's that? Can we talk to the man? This is Bazin at the Dog, is it not? Right, we can talk. Cheating is not going to stop. No. Agree or disagree? I don't think it's going to stop. Why? Well, because we've created a culture now where there's a, a mindset of people just trying to get theirs no matter what. No matter what you got, you don't have enough. So you have to go out there and get something else in order to prove to either yourself or someone in the mix that uh, you still got it. Or if somebody smiles at you and winks at you or offers something to you, you mm -hmm. feel like, you know, I, mean, I need to give them some attention because they're giving me something that main man at home ain't giving me. Yeah. And it puts pressure on those relationships to stay together. A lot but of people what, be cheating in, in, and they happy at home, though. That's what I was going to say. They, they're not saying I'm missing something. They're saying you said I want some more. Well, see, what we have to do then is we need to open up this discussion and begin to dialogue about it. Now, see, if that goes back to, to that. If you're going to be happy at home, then you, you, you should be happy enough to say, look, honey, there's some things that I'd like to talk to you about that you might be uncomfortable Dr. with, Marie, but I will In other words, can we, can we bring another young lady into our relationship? <laughs> hey, can we get Buck Wild? Here's what it is, though. You do it. True that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here's what it is, though. Men and women, I think, cheat for different reasons. You know, with men, you know, you're situation is on the outside of you. Thank you. And that you, was so politically correct. <laughs> she, Thank you. Your situation is on the outside. On the outside. <laughs> and that's how you think. It's You see it. It's all external. And, it, and which is the reason why a man could say, baby, it was nothing. Because you're visual, you see it, you want it. With a woman, all of our situation is on the inside. Mm -hmm. I love and that so situation thing. The situation is. is on the inside. And it's emotional, and, right? And in that place, when a woman is not going to cheat most times just because she sees it, it's because you make her but feel you all a contributing. You all are contributing to the infidelity. Now that you're in on this, yeah. George, yeah. women yeah. contribute. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's why I'm going to talk to women to try to drown them out. But women are contributing to men's infidelity. How? Asking why. Why? Why? Uh, <laughs> I think that women have a very hard time accepting the truth from men. Which I really is? do believe that. The truth, I believe, I, and I said I, I believe that most men are not monogamous by nature. So when we don't accept that from the beginning, you already set yourself up to be cheated on. Well, but check this out. Though. I Wait. said it. Yes, I did. Wait a minute. <laughs> but here we go. Herein lies the fine line. Because if you know you're not ready to be monogamous, don't play at it. Don't say you're ready and you know you're not. Now, but you know what I don't like? I'm just Let me tell you what I don't like. Women, you all, you need to stop this. You always talking about when you all go to cheat or when you step outside your marriage, it's for emotional. It's something from the inside. You know what? That's crap. Y'all want to get some extra on the side just like the man do. It no, ain't nothing other simple. Yeah. It's the simple as that. No, you know it's what? It's simple as that. Here, 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 here's why I disagree.
disagree with you because when the dismantling happens in a relationship, it's never because we don't tell you. It's not because you don't know. It's just because you heard what we said and you decided I, not to do nothing about do anything it. anything about it. Exactly. That's how that happened. Boy, y'all, oh, oh, y'all got one more time. See, this is how we got right. mostly women in your audience. Right. And women, are less, women, women are less likely to do it over a long period of time, too. A lot of times it's like we have the reason. It's like we will justify But this okay, is not a conversation a about how long you do it. The conversation right. is whether why, you do it. Right, whether you do it. Well, we don't, I only, don't only cheat it for a week. No, no. I, only, I only did it to him on Tuesday for four months. <laughs> what that meant? No. But you know what? Cheating in general is, I think, is an indication of laziness. It's like you, it's easier to cheat and get an instant gratification to get, get whatever you need for that moment then instead of looking the at the relationship can, and can what's one, wrong. Can, is it realistic that, that you can expect one person to provide you with everything you need for the rest of your life. Yeah. I'm talking to Dr. Baruch. <laughs> I, I think so, Mike. I think that we can, you can have that realistic expectation, and you have to build that into the beginning foundational part of that relationship. You have to, you have to make sure that you talk about that. But Dr. let me it. ask you something, though. Am I right or wrong? When you make a commitment in, in to get married and say, this is going to be my life partner forever or whatever, you, what you're committed to is the commitment. You, you, because that person is going to change their up and down. Mm -hmm. One day I'm in love with you. The next day I wish you would drop dead. Mm -hmm. So what I'm committed to is the fact that I said I'm going to stay, I'm going to stick this thing okay. out. That's okay. what I'm that, committed that, to. Now, y'all, you know what? You got, I'm coming over there to see you <laughs> during the break because you clap on everyone. But, Doc, this is what I want to put out there in all seriousness. You got a great relationship. Hypothetically, you and Dr. Baruch are married. Mm -hmm. He's Hello, committed. honey. Right. I can't stand y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you committed, right? You love her. Five years from now, he still loves you, but he's attracted to someone else. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, he can he be not... honest enough to can come he... tell Thank you, you George. That without you flipping it? Oh, my God, all this You know what? Let me, let yes me, no. let me stop no, no. right can here I and, yes and, no? and, and apologize to you for whatever woman did that to you. Because somebody, <laughs> somebody <laughs> talked to you crazy. <laughs> somebody made you feel bad about, you know, coming out with them. And I apologize <laughs> because he did that. But back to him, yes, no, if go, it, was, if it, it was me, yes, you would be able to come to me and tell me, and I would be like, get the chandelier I got to swing from. What you need me to do See, okay. to make it now, right? Now watch yes, this. Yes, ride Give me a second. What I got to do? Give me a second. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so what if that was your husband, mm -hmm. and he came to you and asked you the same thing? What would be your reaction if he said, look, baby, I love you. I don't want to leave you but I am attracted to this other woman. Right. Well, I think we, everybody has to be secure with themselves to realize, I mean, we're all attracted to other people. It's not like you get married Okay, and let me be more specific don't... since you're going to make me go there. Right. <laughs> now am I attracted to her, I would like to have sex with this woman. Right. Well, it, obviously, that's not going to fly. So that, okay, this is <laughs> no, my... No, no, no. That's no. going to fly with Miss Flower in the hair. She no, don't mind. No, no, no. Okay. No, that I... flower will wilt as soon as you hear your husband say that he want to throw down with somebody else. When you get through, you ain't nope. going to be hanging from no No, check it out. Check it out. What, what this is really an issue of is respect. Respect me enough not to put me in a three a threesome without asking me. You, you know, sure. don't put me in but, a situation between you and see, another woman without asking me. I didn't my point me. because her res her response is exactly why most men cheat. I don't think most men most men who cheat are bad men. I think they find themselves in a situation with a woman they love who they don't want to let let go of because they got kids, a mortgage. Maybe they still want to be with her. But he's not going to lose her for the sake of maybe being sexual with this other one. It's not going to happen. Well, then you know what I'm saying? The reason why that seems so inappropriate and low down is because, wait a minute, is because if you're going to cheat on me, don't let it be for a fly-by-night trick. Let it be for somebody who you really, you know, that got something. That's a, that, You know, don't let it just be you a mad passing. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. Let me tell you something. Women, George, would, so you, would you apologize to her? No. I'm, I'm going to apologize for whatever man did that to you at this point, all right? All right. Let me extend the same right, apology right, that you right, gave right. to me, all right? I'll take that out of you. Because y'all don't give a damn why you've been cheated on. It does not make it feel any better if I cheat with a woman that I fell in love with opposed to I cheat with that chick who I saw in frozen food who had a nice booty. Don't tell me it makes a difference because it does not. Hold on, hold that thought. We're gonna, you just hold that thought. Now we're going to come get your questions. Coming up next, we're going to find out what the late night family has to say about why men and women cheat. You're tuning in the bathing at the dog. You asked for it, you got it.